Okay, starting off turn number four with Arjun. Arjun's down to six hit points, and we have this potion of healing you can use during your hero phase. Doesn't say you have to use it at the beginning or the end or whatever, so we'll just use it now. Potion of healing, get back two hit points. Taking Arjun back up to eight again. Now Arjun has a movement speed of five, so I think what we'll do is we'll have him move. Uh, we'll just have him move over here. Uh, one, two, three, so that he's adjacent to the Blazing Skeleton. And then we'll have him use Precise Strike, which is one of his uh, really good powers. Man, that really seems like a waste on that one. But we're going to use it anyway because I want that Blazing Skeleton gone. But he gets a plus 11, so literally if we roll anything other than a 1, it goes down. Of course, I probably just jinxed, my, jinxed myself. Uh, no, we're good. 16, so... Uh, and the reason I wanted to use that, because it does two damage, and most of his attacks only do one. So I didn't want to have to take two turns to get rid of this thing. So Blazing Skeleton goes down. Which means Arjun will get treasure. But let's update the sheet here. So we didn't use a surge. We moved. We attacked. We killed. So we get treasure. And then we will be exploring, because we're on an unexplored edge. But let's get our treasure first. Amulet of Protection, you gain plus one, okay. Um, yeah, I'll have Arjun hold on to that. And to remind me that I have it, I'll grab this thing here. I just printed these up with my label maker. And I'll just put that there because so I'm more likely to remember that I have it when I see that. Okay, so... All right, we're on an unexplored edge, so we're going to go ahead and explore. Let me slide this over a bit. And we got a black tile, so we will have an encounter, but if it's too bad, we can cancel it. Draw. Oh, are you kidding me? The third, we got all three blazing skeletons this game. Ah, oh, boy. All right, so we explored, we got a black tile, we got another blazing skeleton, like literally bang, bang, bang. And again, if I hadn't killed that one, then I'd just discard it, but. Oh well. So we will have an encounter, blazing skeleton number three. All right, so first up the encounter Spider webs, we'll let it play because it's just going to slow us or immobilize us. Gets a plus four. I mean, I don't want to be slow to immobilize, but I don't want to spend the experience. 15 and four is 19. That's going to be enough to immobilize us. So, Arjun is immobilized, and that is that event. Blazing Skeleton will activate and, uh, you know, gets a plus seven on the attack, does damage either way. But let's hope it misses so we only take one damage. And two plus seven's nine, so that's going to be a miss. But we take the one damage. So we go from eight to seven. So that's the end of Arjun's villain phase. So we move on into Alyssa's turn. Now Alyssa slowed. So there's this, uh, I would probably otherwise just have her run away from the gargoyle, but... Since she's slowed, she can't really get away from it. So what she'll do instead, she will use her hit and run. Now she only gets a plus six on that attack. So this is, hmm. actually, maybe I should probably actually just have her ping it. That way we're guaranteed to do one damage because otherwise, I, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna have her use her ping that way you know, we're, we're guaranteed to do one on it, at least. And otherwise, there's... I guess I can have her start moving. So she'll go ahead and move one, two. That's all she can do. So updating for Alyssa. She didn't use a surge. She attacked. She moved. She didn't kill anything, so she doesn't get treasure. She will not be exploring. 
Actually, let me think about the movement. She was here. If I want to have her get explore uh, one, two, she's, oh yeah, she could because she has scouts, so she could go over here. But I kind of do want to have her go this direction. What to do? Um, we're gonna, I'm gonna stick with the original plan. She's gonna go one, two. Uh, so she's not going to be exploring, so no new tile, no new monster, the slowness wears off at the end of her hero phase, so we get rid of the slowness, and that means we have a forced encounter, and then we still have the sliding walls and the gargoyle. So first up is the encounter. Circle of Death. It's just the name of it sounds like one you want to skip. Attack each hero. And then each undead gains one. A gargoyle is an elemental, not undead. Each undead monster on the active here. So, hmm. so we take two damage if it hits. Is it worth canceling this? I don't know, I don't really think it is, but I'm gonna go ahead and cancel it. I don't know that that's worth canceling, but that's, uh, there's our five, three and two. All right, so now the sliding walls activates and does nothing. Now the gargoyle activates and attacks with a whirlwind of claws. It gets a plus eight on that attack, does damage either way. And that's going to be the bigger damage, and it's going to slow her down again. Dang it. So hits and slows, taking Alyssa down to three. So, and she's slowed again. All right, so that's the end of her villain phase and the end of turn number four.